Welcome back, everyone. We are going to be making a breakfast casserole. Now, just remember, you don't always have to have it for breakfast. You can have it for lunch or dinner as well. Now, yeah, these are my ingredients, and so we're going to be using our cheeses in the back. And I've chose to use um, Festive Blend only because I like a little bit of cheddar, just some little bit of yellow in the in the color, mozzarella and provolone. We have some croissant rolls. We have two of those. Um, the cheese, I use one cup of the Fiesta blend and about one cup of the mozzarella provolone. And then I have one uh, cup or one pound, excuse me, whoop, that was a little glitch there. One pound of um, ground sausage, and we cooked it first. A little bit of butter. I used eight eggs. And then we have a few small um, red and yellow um, peppers. And then we're going to be using one glass pan right here. I'm going to take my butter and I'm going to butter the bottom of my pan before I put the croissants down. And I'll have to use a little bit of the cow to help kind of smooth around the edges. using the two croissant rolls hands. you can take each one and lay them out on the glass pan. It's well worth the effort. This is a really good dish. And I, re and I do them opposite directions. So I'll have the point one end and then the wide end at the other. We're basically going to be making like a little pie shell. And then once we get them all in, it kind of looks like that, we're going to take them and we're going to start putting them together and pinching them and making one full sheet of croissants. And you just pinch them. So now that that's out of the way, I have got eight eggs and I am going to whisk these up really good. And 
in my little secret, I just add just a dash of water. good shape too. So that way you get all the egg all over. I'm going to add my bell peppers on top. A little bit of color. Then I'm going to add my cheese. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of Go through here. I want the egg to come through. And it will look like that. And we're going to put it in the oven. At 350. I'm going to show you how I make my tea. Now, I'm making sweet tea. Not everybody is a fan of sweet tea. But I have a third cup that I keep in my sugar. And I'm going to add five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to let that boil. tea bags in my freezer. I'm going to keep them fresh. Now, I'm going to add one large, one large tea bag. That's all you need. If you're doing small ones, I just do two. We're only doing a gallon. So I'm going to let that boil. Now this is almost a boil, but it's got to be a roaring boil. There we go. You let it boil for a few minutes. Then we're going to shut it off. And then we're going to let it sit. And I usually let's sit a good five minutes. 